What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV back here for another Tottenham update. And it seems as though we are edging closer to our first signing of the window. Um, Adama Traore as Tim Spears from The Athletic, who is the Wolves correspondent, says Tottenham and Wolves are moving closer to agreeing a deal for Adama Traore. There is an expectation among senior figures at Wolves that an agreement will be reached with Tottenham for Adama Traore. Big news. Yeah. Bruno Larga, the, obviously the Wolves manager, was saying um, that there are negotiations currently um, happening and it's between the club and Adama. And I want him to stay here, but obviously the club will decide his future. So he didn't seem too confident about Adama staying by his comments. So it looks like this deal is um, going to be done sooner rather than later. And it's fantastic stuff because uh, adds, and adds speed, adds energy, adds dribbling ability to the squad. And he's an exciting player. And um, even even if he's frustrating from like Wolves' point of view, he's a neutral and I'm watching him at Wolves. He's always a really exciting player to watch, isn't he? Very. And he wants to get you off your seat. He runs at players. You can meet two, three players that are not even there. And um, I'm excited to see uh, what Conte can do with him because um, he's got unbelievable ability just ready to, and waiting to be unlocked. He's a player that always uh, seemed to perform against us. Literally always seem to perform. You're always scared us. to play him, aren't you? Always. Whenever he uh, comes up against us, um, he's a threat that you're worried about. Um, I, for one, I mean, I've, I've always uh, bought into the idea of buying him. In the summer, I wanted him. I said, uh, let's bring him in. Now, even more so when we're thinking about playing him at right wing back, I think that that would definitely be a role uh, that's going to suit him. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy that this deal is getting over. Finally, we've moved on from considering to making bids and now it's edging closer. So it does seem like this deal is going to get over the line. Um, probably will happen over the weekend or early next week or something like that. But this deal is edging closer, which is the main point. And he's versatile as well, can play right wing back. He's, I've seen him but remember early in the season against Spurs, played on the left, didn't he? Mm. Gave Tanganga a torrid time. Yeah. He's played up front before. He could probably play in one of those two number 10 positions as well. So he can pretty much play across the whole uh, front line. So um, I think it's a good signing. People have their reservations because of his uh, goal and assist record, and fair enough. That's right, um, so, to be honest. Yeah, I think that he'll have to dispel those. With um, He'll have to start getting them all regularly, no doubt about that. Mm. But um, I'm... I'm I, first of all, I think he's shown two seasons ago he can he does have it in him if you can unlock it. Mm -hmm. And secondly, even even if he doesn't get goals and assists, which we which we need from him, he he does provide something in the team we don't have yet. And he does he will open up spaces. Oh, that's a guarantee. He'll that's open guarantee. up yeah he'll open up spaces for other players. And yeah. hopefully, if Kane goals goals go up and Son's goal go up, you can maybe you know Adama could have something to do with that. Agreed, agreed. So that is um, that with Adama Traore. Let's move on with Tangi Und. Dombele. We brought you the news earlier today that PSG are um, in talks with Tottenham over Tangi and Dombele and Julian Maynard uh, since then has been speaking and he says PSG are ready to bring in Tangi and Dombele and discuss a deal with Tottenham Hotspur. However, the French club want to do an exchange deal but, but uh, it's proving complicated as currently no midfielder is willing to leave the French club. Which is interesting because we've heard the news that Gigi Wijnaldum wants to leave. Yeah, that's, that's the rumours, isn't it? But maybe he doesn't want to leave for Spurs. <laughs> maybe that's the, that, that's the uh, situation. But yeah, they've got a lot, obviously a lot of talent, don't they? They've got like a Drissa Gay as well. They've got um, Ander Herrera. They've got Paredes, as you say, doesn't want to leave. They've got Wijnaldum. Obviously, the likes of Verratti is, is never going to come or Rabia or anything like that. But um, oh, sorry, Rabia's not there anymore, is he? He's at PSG. Oh, he's at uh, Juventus. Um, so look, they've got a lot of talent. And I would like to, if there's a swap deal to be had, but to be honest, I'd rather straight money if they if they have, they want to pay for him. But yeah. it sounds like they don't want to pay. No, which is frustrating because it is PSG uh, money bags. PSG, hmm. it's frustrating they don't want to pay. I think it'll just be a loan deal with an yeah. option. I think that's just the best case. Sounds like yeah, sounds like they want to get a cheap deal with an exchange player to get it done. But I think, I don't think that's, if no player is likely to come, then it's going to have to be a loan with an option. Yeah, and, and look, if, if we can get them to stump up for their wages, for his wages for the rest of the season, that's still a massive plus for us because he's top earner at the club, 200 mm -hmm. grand a week. So getting those wages off the books, don't underestimate that. So I mm -hmm. think it'll be big for us. Definitely. Um, but let's just hope it gets sorted as soon as possible so we have a bit of time to bring some, uh, maybe a Kessie or something in before the deadline. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, so that's on Undombele. Let's talk about Jaffet Tanganga now. As Simon Stone said this morning, that Tanganga's short-term future 
to be decided after the Chelsea game with AC Milan interested in. And Demazio says Tottenham and AC Milan are due to meet again on Monday to discuss a deal for Japheth Tanganga. So Demazio and Simon Soames seem to be um, in line of what they're saying that uh, talks will progress on Monday uh, with AC Milan on Japheth Tanganga. And if it is a loan deal, should be a really good loan for him if he is going to come back. Yeah, obviously, um, Tom already went there, didn't he? And he's, uh, he's done really, really well. They ended up signing him. And um, he's gone from strength to strength uh, over AC Milan. So clearly they have a, uh, um, a knack for it uh, in terms of getting young English players that done it once before. So it would be a good move for him. It'll be interesting to see where, if they do sign him, where they play him, if it is a centre-back or right-back. Mm. It'll be interesting to see what, what they think is his best, best position. Um, but in terms of him leaving... Um, I still want to bring one more in if he does leave. I've said it uh, uh, consistently. I still I still think that's the case. I'd rather him stay ra around if we're not going to bring someone in. But look, with Romero and Dyer back, if you know we are risking it, but there, it's true. He probably won't have too much game time if uh, with us being out of the Carabao and, and out of the Conference League as well. Uh, his game time will be limited if he stays, but we do have to cover ourselves in case of more injuries and you know and COVID and all that stuff. So. It'll be interesting to see what they decide. Hopefully we can bring someone in if uh, he does decide to go out on loan. Yeah, uh, let's hope so. But I think either way, a loan move will be uh, massive for his uh, kind of development. And if, if there is no option there or if we can bring him back next year, I think the loan move will, will stand him in really good stead um, if he can go back, come back here next season. But... Mm. Um, obviously, it remains to be seen and we'll hear more about this on Monday. So obviously, we'll bring you the news as and when uh, that breaks. But in terms of a replacement for him, which you're talking about, let's talk about Diego Carlos. Because David Ornstein brought us news yesterday that a London Premier League club have made a major offer to Sevilla for Diego Carlos. And that club is not Arsenal. The Daily Mail followed on from that and they say Tottenham have now expressed an interest in Diego Carlos. The Sofia defender is keen on the move and negotiations over a deal are taking place. Um, do you think this one has legs? I mean, it, it makes a bit of sense if we can get a cheap deal for him. If, if, but I heard Newcastle were in for him, aren't they? Apparently 30 million. Yeah, apparently a 30 million bid yeah, rejected so for him. If that's the case, do his wife see Spurs really uh, going in for him mm. or uh, paying more than Newcastle were going to pay? It's difficult to see that. I can see us definitely losing a bidding war with Newcastle, don't I? Um, so it's going to be difficult to see that one happen. I think he's a good defender. He's done well at Seville. He's just a bit of a hothead. Uh, him and, if you have him and Romero both starting in a back three, I wonder how many games you'd actually finish with uh, 11 men on the pitch, um, knowing their, their records. So it'll be interesting to see. He's obviously a bit older, 28, so he's a bit older than Romero. But he's definitely one who's a bit ill-disciplined and a bit of a... One of those centre backs who goes 100 miles an hour, a bit like Romero. So um, I think he's a good defender, but I don't know if he'd be my pick to come in. But if we do sign him, I do think he upgrades our defence. On uh, on, tr I don't know much about him at all, uh, but on transfer market, um, they kind of rank each players from each club in terms of um, how well they're doing in the season, mm. um, how they're well they're doing within the squad and blah, blah, blah. And he ranks number two uh, for Sevilla players. So he's been their second best player according to Transfer Market this season. Sounds like fairly a good impressive. Season. Fairly impressive. Definitely. I mean, I don't know how reliable... I mean, who's yeah. our... I haven't have to see our... Uh, a list on transfer market to see uh, how reliable it is but yeah it does sound good on the face of it yeah exactly so that's that with Diego Carlos and now let's talk about Steven Bergvine last but not least the Athletics say Tottenham remain open to Steven Bergvine leaving the club uh, which is interesting and contrary to reports of Sky Sports that say that Steven Bergvine incre is increasingly likely to remain at Tottenham Hotspur beyond the transfer window. He was never, he has never asked to leave and just wants regular football. And Charlie Eccleshare says that Ajax remain interested in Steven Bergvine but unlikely to meet Tottenham's evaluation. So it does seem mm. that uh, this one, um, he is set to stay Steven Bergvine. Mm. Yeah, it looks like those two goals have really saved his Spurs career. Uh, apparently uh, Ajax were... Um, obviously, they had the £15 million pound bid rejected and it sounds like they wanted, they were only willing to go to 20 and we want a bit more closer to 25. So whether they're going to go that high remains to be seen. And I think, uh, to, to be honest, we need Bergvine. We need him in the squad. We can't afford to let him go without replacing him. Uh, I don't think Adama is a Bergvine replacement, so that deal has to happen regardless. So, um, yeah, I mean, it looks. I think it's good, it's good that he's staying for me. And hopefully he gets more game time. I think he's played well of late. If he can continues his form, he'll be a valuable member of the squad in the second half of the season. Ultimately, 
if we want Steve, if Bergvine's going to go out the door, we need a Dharma plus another one. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't just bring in a Dharma for Bergvine. That that can't be the situation. So I'm happy uh, that we're planning to keep Bergvine as well as a Dharma coming in. Agreed. Exactly. That's what that's what I want. And I'll be honest, we probably need another one on top of that. But that's well, that's a different situation. True. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that is the end of the Tottenham update today. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any thoughts regarding any of the new stories we brought to you today. But it looks as though the first signing is um, just around the corner for Tottenham Hotspur. Hopefully there will be more. But how long there is to go? Oh, over yeah, Rooney Ru 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 Galetti actually just said, just tweeted out saying. Uh, uh, Mendes, Tottenham and Troy look to close the deal within the next few hours. Oh, interesting. That's what he's claiming. Interesting. So if anything does break, we will bring it to you. But that is the situation at the moment. So thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come, come on, on you Spurs. Spurs.